Here's a fact. Atmospheric concentrations of carbon dioxide, methane and nitrous oxide are at the highest levels in the last 800,000 years. Here's another one. 2024 was likely the first calendar year to be more than 1.5 degrees Celsius above the pre-industrial era. Here's the third one. Each of the past eight years has set a new record for ocean heat content. All the three statements have been taken from the State of the Climate Report 2024, which was released by the World Meteorological Organization on 19th of March 2025. Let's take a deeper look at what the report says. The report confirms that the atmospheric concentrations of carbon dioxide, methane and nitrous oxide are at the highest levels in the last 800,000 years. In 2023, carbon dioxide reached 420 parts per million, a staggering 151% of the pre-industrial level. Methane reached 1,923 parts per billion, 266% of the pre-industrial levels. For nitrous oxide, the levels were 335 parts per billion, 124% of pre-industrial levels. Think of it, for nearly a million years, our atmosphere has never held this much heat-trapping gas. The consequence of this greenhouse gas buildup is a relentless rise in global temperatures. 2024 was likely the first calendar year to be more than 1.5 degrees Celsius above the pre-industrial era, with a global mean near-surface temperature of 1.55 degrees Celsius above the 1850 to 1900 average. In fact, each of the past 10 years from 2015 to 2024 has been individually among the 10 warmest years on record. While a single year above 1.5 degrees Celsius doesn't mean we have failed the long-term goals of the Paris Agreement, but the continuous crossing of the threshold would mean that we are getting close to the failure of the ambitious Paris Agreement goal. Now. Coming to precipitation patterns, in 2024, some regions experienced above normal precipitation leading to floods, while others face rainfall deficits, heightening the risk of droughts. This erraticity has to do with the warming oceans. Around 90% of the energy trapped by greenhouse gases is absorbed by the ocean, leading to continuous warming of our seas. This fuels tropical storms, and contributes significantly to sea level rise. One important thing to note is that this ocean warming is irreversible for hundreds if not thousands of years. The thermal expansion of the ocean, coupled with the melting of ice sheets and glaciers, is driving another critical indicator, global mean sea level. In 2024, global mean sea level reached a record high. The long-term rate of sea level rise has more than doubled since the start of the satellite record, increasing from 2.1 mm per year between 1993 to 2002 to 4.7 mm per year between 2015 to 2024. While a few millimeters might seem insignificant, it is not. Most of the world's megacities are in coastal areas, with millions of people living in low elevation coastal zones. Even just a few millimeters of rise can have a big impact on coastal flooding and erosion putting populations at risk from storms, floods, and saltwater intrusion. This too is largely irreversible for hundreds of years. Glaciers are also feeling the heat. Preliminary observations indicate that 2023-24 was another year of extremely negative mass balance worldwide. In fact, the period 2022-2024 to represents the largest three-year loss of glacial mass on record. Glacier mass balance represents the amount of mass gained or lost by glaciers. Seven of the ten most negative mass balance years since 1950 have occurred since 2016. Our planet is issuing more distress signals, but this report shows that limiting long-term global temperature rise to 1.5 degrees Celsius is still possible. Leaders must step up to make it happen, seizing the benefits of cheap, clean renewables for the people and economies, with new national climate plans due this year," said United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres. 
In 2024, extreme weather events led to the highest number of new annual displacements since 2008. The compounded effect of these climate shocks, along with other factors like conflict and high food prices, worsened food crisis in 18 countries globally by mid 2024. The WMO report underscores the vital need for early warning systems and climate services to protect communities and economies.